And by the way, at one point, were you gonna mix their ashes together? Or I, was, gonna... yes. <laughs> I was waiting. They both had three dead cats that they cremated, and we were supposed to mix the dead cats with their ashes. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. This is really interesting. Know that her soul is also trying to break through to me. So what I keep seeing, because when I kept when I was asking for more information, they kept saying I bled out, I bled out. But when I'm connecting with your mother, she went like this to me. She said to me, no tubes, no tubes. So I don't know if she told you she didn't want tubes or she didn't want to be on tubes. No, she did not. She wanted to go at home. Okay, that would be why. So whatever had happened, know that she's coming through because I'm going to be honest with you. Even though she had leukemia here in the physical world, this all has to do with the day that she hit her head and the day that she, this had happened. Because when I'm connecting with her, you may have been expecting her to pass on the leukemia, but it was the, the head instead that had, that had caused her passing. Because she shows me that if it wasn't for her being at home, she would have been on life support here in the physical world. Her soul passed just like this when I'm connecting with her. She says to me, and Matt, she says, the one thing that I want to let you know, oh, and she keeps talking about, the, about her body. Hold on. So did you keep her body or hold, I shouldn't say keep her body. Did you wait and everybody got to say goodbye to her after she had died? She shows me you holding her body and like everybody just going to say goodbye. She goes, Matt, she goes, I didn't think they were ever going to let like the funeral home come and take me, she says. I actually, it ended up being me and my brother and I actually laid down and held her hand and we closed the door to stay next door and she instantly passed, but all of the grandkids, she waited till they all got there. Know that she knows. Because she shows me you sitting with her body and she tells me she got to see her whole family before she died. She keeps telling me, it's almost like it's an agreement when I'm connecting with her. Because she keeps saying to me, like, we agreed, no surgeries, no nothing. No surgeries, no nothing. She keeps saying that to me, like, I wouldn't want to have wanted this. So know that even though, and here's what happens, right? When your loved ones talk to me, there's certain grief, certain pain that we hold on to after losing a loved one. And when I'm connecting with your mom, I feel like still to this day, you question over, well, should I brought, have brought her to the hospital? Should I have done this? Should I have done that? Your mother says to me, we already agreed she says, on what was going to be done for me. And know that what I have to tell you is that in spirit, she says to me, I pass so peacefully because of you. Your mom wants to thank you for letting her know that, that she was not alone. I hear you telling your mom, like, it's okay, mom, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> That's literally what I told her. She tells me. And she also shows me, did you keep a jewelry box of hers? Or like a, um, it looks like a jewelry box or a music box when I'm connecting with her. I have her jewelry box, but I actually brought one of her rings with me. Oh, hello, pay attention. What is, it, what is going on in New Hampshire with everyone bringing their, their loved one's things? Last time I was in New Hampshire so many years ago, there was this woman. She goes, oh, my God, I brought something to my husband's mat. She handed it to me. It was this glass eye. I swear to God. Every time I come to New Hampshire, everyone like, is, is, is dying to bring me something of their loved ones. So know that one of the things that I'm connecting with is this. She shows me that, that jewelry box and she's so happy because she tells me that, that you'll just look at it and it instantly reminds you of, of, of your mom. She also says to me that you smell her. So do you ever just smell her smell? Because that's how she comes to you. I wear her perfume. <laughs> to feel close to her. Yeah. She says to me, Matt, because when I'm connecting, souls speak in different visions to me. I just saw her spraying the perfume bottle and when I'm connecting, I actually smell your mom when I'm speaking to her. She says, please tell my daughter this. She says, please tell my daughter that every day that goes by, I am here and with her. She says, but you need to start living your life again because she tells me that since her passing, you've had so much anxiety and you thought that you were going to be okay and you thought you were going to be able to get through this. She says to me, and the one thing that I want you to know is that it's okay, she says, that I'm gone. She says, because me being gone doesn't mean that I'm away from you. She says, it just means that I'm out of pain and I'm able to see your life every single day. Okay, this is really, this is really awesome. Okay. I'm so excited because your mother just shows me these little birds coming to visit you when I'm connecting. And she tells me she sent you the birds. So did you start getting like two birds that keep coming and coming and coming? And they're blue jays, which is her favorite. She kept saying to me, she knows I sent her the birds, I sent her the birds. <laughs> so when you saw those birds coming and visiting you, that's your mom's soul on the other side, showing that she's there and with you right at that exact moment. But she also says to me this, she says, Matt, she says, you know, 
My daughter became just like me, she says, after I died. She tells me that you, like, bully the family when I'm connected. She tells me, she goes, Matt, she goes, <laughs> she goes everybody's, like, nervous about her. She says, she, may, she goes, because you're, you stepped right into your mother's shoes, and she's bringing that up. She also wants to thank you for the holidays. So did you start doing the holidays like she did? I didn't really start doing them like she did, but we tried to, like, make sure that her memory is in there. Bullshit. She tells me when I'm connecting. <laughs> I keep seeing recipes that are here, and I feel like somebody made something of hers. Yes. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, and it's funny because we were looking for my mom's peanut butter frosting recipe. There you go. So when you were looking for the recipe, hello, because I love it when your loved ones tell me everything that's super commutative because your mother kept saying to me, she's like, Matt, they're looking for the recipe. They're looking for the recipe. So know that when you went to do that because that was something your mom did every Mother's Day. It's her way of letting you know that's what it's all about. She will be with you on that, on, on that day. And it's her way of letting you know one thing. She says, Matt, she goes, I lived my life and my life was so good. But she needs to live her life now. And she can't stay focused on me. She also says to me, it's okay to get rid of her, some of her things, by the way. She tells me you still have so much of her shit. <laughs> So what's going on with it? Were you planning on like on like putting it in storage or something? Because she keeps showing me like storage when I'm connecting. No, I just can't seem to let go of anything. She's, anything she's saying to me, Matt, she goes, let her know. She goes, that I wasn't even gonna hold on to this stuff. I don't know why she's <laughs> holding on to this stuff, she says to me. She goes, that I'm nervous. She goes, because she's got nowhere to store it. She goes, tell my daughter to just keep what she, she keep what she wants and what send them to her. She goes, and get rid of the rest. Because your mother's going like this on the other side. She goes, I would have freaked out if I was alive, Matt, because it's all junk. She's keeping all junk, she's saying to me. It is. It's the weirdest stuff. Ever. I know. Like, she shows me. A volunteer badge for like when she volunteered to take care of animals. It's like the weirdest thing it's, that I keep. I have no idea why. But. So no, it's her way of letting you know one thing. This is the validation that she wants to let you know that she's okay and that she's at peace. But she's also telling me one other thing when I'm connecting as well. She was laid to rest here in the physical world, correct? No, she was cremated. She was cremated. Oh, that's interesting. When I'm connecting, I keep seeing a plot that's here. Is there a family plot that you all have? My grandmother that passed not long after her had a whole family plot thing. For her to show me that, it's her way of letting you know in spirit one thing. That even though she wasn't laid to rest here in the physical world, this is her way of let, let, letting you know that she is with your mom on the other I side. I was going to say, do you know if she's with my mom? I absolutely know that she's with your mom. And at the end of the day, I want you to know that that's the one thing that was the hardest on you, is that you let go of your mom and then you were trying to take care of your grandmother. And I keep seeing it's like she lost the will to live here in the physical world. She did. She just wanted to be with my mom. So know that at the end of her life, she wants to thank you for doing everything that you could to keep her alive too. And, and by the way, at one point, were you going to mix their ashes together? Or I you was, gonna yes! <laughs> I was yes. waiting. <laughs> Her brother said no. I was no. They didn't what the really hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what? My mom and my grandmother absolutely loved each other, but they had no idea how to get along. <laughs> so no. we went to go dump the ashes, and my brother, I said, "Do we mix them?" And my brother said, "No, they didn't like each other." I said, "They're ashes. I really don't think that they're gonna like argue with each other." I wasn't sure. But they both, have they brought up cats yet? Because they both had... Don't change the subject! Okay. <laughs> they both had three dead cats that they cremated, and we were supposed to mix the dead cats with their ashes. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. I'm not even kidding. All I can tell you is oh that God. they knew that you were going to mix them together. That's all I can say. <laughs> Anything else is on you. So you okay. were planning on mixing... Your mother, your grandmother, and the three cats together. My grandmother and her, th my grandmother and her three cats got mixed together, and my mom and her three dead cats got mixed together. I am not even joking. My brother did it. I couldn't do it to save my life. All I can tell you is that they know. Okay. <laughs> and that they are at peace on the other side. Oh, thank God. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it with that. <laughs>